guys, welcome to your yoga practice. I'm Caroline and I'll be kind of leading us through a full body workout. Um, this is such an interesting time for all of us. We're all experiencing um, just a lot of time at home and doing yoga or developing kind of some sort of movement practice is really what we need more than ever. So today, this is gonna be definitely geared towards more of the beginners, more of the people who don't really know where to start practicing yoga, but it will have some challenging elements uh, just to keep us flowing, to keep us moving, and, and to allow you to kind of cultivate this relationship with your body, with your mind, and because we're spending so much time with ourselves, it's, it's really important that we kind of understand the inner workings that we do um, of, of our mind, and that we go through every day to experience these like highs and lows, and it's really interesting, I'm taking an anatomy course right now, um, and we've been learning a lot about the nervous system. And there's, we have this, um, the autonomic nervous system, which is kind of like our automatic reflexes. It's the, the brain telling the heart to continue to beat. It's the brain telling the you know, dig digestive system to keep flowing. And it's really fascinating because within this autonomic nervous system, we have kind of two other subdivisions of nervous systems. We have the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the resting, the digesting. It's when we feel safe. And then on the other side of the coin, we have the sympathetic nervous system, which is fight or flight. And we're all experiencing a lot of fight or flight right now. So we need to get our body to start to cultivate a little more of that rest and digest that parasympathetic nervous system so that we can, you know, be content, be happy, and recognize that like we don't we don't have to have uh, uh, some, you know, we don't have to have nice cars or nice homes. It's, it's just at the end of the day, we need to focus on becoming more simpler, at least for, for the meantime. So, uh, if you have a block, that would be super helpful. But if not, no worries. You don't even really need a mat. You could just lay on the floor and do this practice too. So, we're going to get started laying down on your back in a bridge pose. And if you have a block to place in between your thighs, that's awesome. We'll come to lay down. <coughs> And this is always a really good place for us to come home to, to, for you to feel at home in your body, to scan any areas of tension, and to just focus on your breath. Breathing into the stomach, and breathing out of the mouth. Inhale slowly like you're sipping in the air the belly and the ribs, and exhale through the mouth. We're going to go ahead and lift your hips up. You can just keep the arms down by your side for a moment. We want to focus on lengthening the tailbone up towards the ceiling and kind of squeezing this low belly in towards your spine and hug the hips together. We want to start to activate. This is starting to warm up the whole back body. And through the breath, through connecting, you know, through kind of forcing ourselves to focus on our breath, we can also start to activate that parasympathetic nervous system, that rest and digest state. We're going to stretch out your wrists. So take your arms up to the ceiling. Use your right hand to pull the left fingers back. Spread the palm. And take a few deep breaths here. In through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in, and breathing out. One more. And then we'll switch arms. Take about three breaths here, really focus on squeezing the sit bones towards each other, kind of those two bones at the base of your pelvis. Slowly release the arms and lower one vertebra at a time until you come all the way down. We'll take the block out from in between your legs and take your legs up, but keep the knees bent. We'll interlace your fingers behind your head and do some core work. <laughs> so take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lift your head and lift your shoulders. Squeeze your elbows together to get up off your shoulder blades. It's really easy to 
keep the elbows wide and to keep yourself propped up and not doing uh, the proper work. <laughs> and we'll inhale and lower the head. Exhale and lift up, head and shoulders. We'll take the left leg up to the ceiling and take the right arm up to the ceiling. And reach, reach, reach the right arm even higher. Bring the right hand behind the head, bend your left knee, inhale and slowly lower your head without letting your ribs pop up. Exhale and lift, head and shoulders. Take the right leg to the ceiling and the left arm, reach it up. As you reach with the left arm, feel the left shoulder blade kind of move away from your spine. Bring the left hand behind the head, left leg lifts, inhale and slowly lower your head down. Exhale and lift up, head and shoulders. This time we'll uh, bend your right knee. Take the right arm up, reach, reach, reach. Bring the right hand behind the head, bend your left knee, inhale and lower the head down. Exhale and lift up, head and shoulders. Take the left leg, or sorry, right leg to the ceiling, reach the left arm up. Bring your left hand behind the head, bend your right knee. Inhale, lower the head down and hug your knees into your chest. Breathe all along the spine. Let your eyes stay closed. And just feel all the work that you have put in. We're gonna rock yourself up to seated, and then we'll all come to tabletop, joining on hands and knees. So spread your fingers wide. Point your pointer finger directly forward, and stack your shoulders over your wrists. We're gonna energetically kind of dial your hands out. So take the right hand and kind of dial it out to the right, and take your left hand and dial it out to the left. We're not actually doing that motion, we're just isometrically feeling that action. Bring your chin towards your chest and lift your neck. And from here, we're gonna slide your right foot back. Keep the core lifting as you pick the right foot up off the floor. Deep breath in. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, take the right leg back. Exhale, right knee. Right elbow. Inhale, take the right leg back. One more time. Inhale, reach it back. And exhale, release the right knee down. Take your left foot back. Keep the toes on the floor. Lift your belly as you lift the left toes. Big breath here. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, take the left leg back. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, reach it back. Last one. Reach the left leg back and lower the left knee down. We'll come onto your forearms. You want your elbows to be about as wide as your shoulders. We'll tuck your toes and lift your hips coming into dolphin pose. You might want to walk your toes in just a little bit. This will be pretty profound for the backs of the legs. So keep your knees bent. We don't have to do things with our legs straight 100% of the time. Uh, thank God, because that would be really hard. But uh, it's really good you know, for us to bend your knees so that you can take your hips up to the ceiling and feel that extension and that length that you're creating in your spine. We're gonna inhale, lift the right leg. And then exhale, tap your right toes to the back left corner of your mat. Inhale, lift. The right leg back to center. Exhale, tap the toes to the back left corner. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, tap. Inhale, reach the right leg up and then slowly lower. Bend your knees, lift your hips. Take the left foot up, breathe in. Exhale, tap the toes to the right and bring it back to center. Tap it over to the side. And center, last one. Lower the left foot, come onto your knees, and we'll rise on up for tabletop pose. Go back into the alignment of your hands. So point your fingers forward, kind of dial the hands out energetically. Keep the arms really straight, and we're just gonna melt the chest down towards the floor, feel the shoulder blades tucked together on the back. 
and then press the floor down and away. Shoulder blades protract or come away from each other. We'll do this a few more times. Just keeping the arms straight. Soften the chest. Shoulder blades squeeze together. Press the floor down and away. Keep going. We just want to mobilize the shoulders and kind of find that optimal alignment before we step into our first plank. So last one, and we're going to meet with the arms straight and the shoulders hugging together on the back. So the chest is kind of pressing down towards the floor. And then I want you to just energetically just kind of press down into your hands and lift the chest up just a little bit. You'll kind of feel your shoulder blades rest on the back of your ribs. Keep the core lifted, set the right toes back, and set the left foot back. Here we are in our first plank. Really tuck your tailbone, squeeze your glutes, lift the core. For three, two, last one, and press it back, downward facing dog. You can keep your knees bent here, keep the hips lifting up high. And really important also to keep the belly, like the front body, merging towards the back body. Inhale, lift the right leg. And exhale, step the right foot forward, just as far as it'll go. Lower onto the left knee, keep the left toes tucked under, and we'll take the arms up for your first lunge. Lengthen the tailbone down, reach the ring fingers up, to the ceiling, big breath here. And as you exhale, hands to the floor. Step your right leg up and back, one-legged downward dog. Slowly release the right foot. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Lower onto the right knee. Keep the toes tucked under. As you rise up, lengthen the tailbone down. Lift the arms high. You exhale, hands to the floor. Step the left leg up and back, one-legged downward dog. And slowly release the left foot down. You're going to walk your hands back towards your feet. Bend into your knees and press down through your heels. It's a little happy squat pose. It's really good for the spine, and we're finding triple flexion of the hips, the knees, and the ankles. So they're all getting some work in. Keep pressing your bum back as you lengthen your spine forward. Breathe into all the space you've, cre you've created. And then we're going to kind of bear crawl your way to the front of the mat. Coming into a standing forward fold, hands can be right under the, the kneecaps. We'll inhale, lengthen the spine halfway. Exhale, fold in. Bend the knees, inhale, lengthen up halfway. Exhale, fold in. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Bring your hands to your hips. Squeeze your elbows together. Keep the core strong as you press down to rise up. And release the arms down by your side. We'll do a few sun salutations. These are a really good way to just get the blood flowing a little bit more. And it's also just really great for our full body strengthening. So come to the front of your mat. Mountain pose is always active. In class, I often see people just kind of like standing here when I say mountain pose. But I want you to think of every muscle in your body as very active and firing. So we'll spread your toes. Keep the legs nice and toned and strong. Lengthen the tailbone down, core draws in. Feel the shoulder blades hug together on the back. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, hinge of the hips. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. Exhale, step or jump back, plank pose. Lower slowly onto the knees. Chaturanga Dandasana. Elbows go straight back. Inhale, cobra. Press your hands down and pull them back towards the back of the mat. And then exhale, tuck the toes, press back. Walk your feet in just a little bit. Downward dog. Bend your knees and take your hips up and back. And press your heels down to the floor. We'll take three breaths here, breathing in. 
Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more. Inhale, lift uh, your gaze. Step or jump to the front of the mat. And exhale, fold in. Inhale, arms reach up. Come to stand. Exhale, release the arms, mountain pose. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, hinge of the hips, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen up, halfway. Exhale, step or jump back. Plank pose. You can lower onto the knees or just lower fully into chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. We'll take three breaths here. Keep the arms as straight as you can. Squeeze the triceps. Keep the breath fluid. Last one. Inhale, lift the gaze. Step or jump forward. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, stand tall. Tadasana. Everything's alive. Everything's strong. Inhale, take the right knee forward. Bring your hands into prayer. Start to fly this right leg straight back behind you as you press your chest forward, coming into warrior three. Take the arms back. We'll inhale, rise up, right knee in front of the chest. Hands to prayer. Exhale, fly back, warrior three. Inhale, rise up, last time. Exhale, fly back warrior three to stay. We're gonna come into a high lunge, so very gently take your right foot to the floor. Lengthen the tailbone down towards the floor as you lift the arms up. Big breath in. Exhale, bend your elbows and squeeze them in like you're doing a lat pull down at the gym. Just kind of imagining there's a spar in your hands. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, squeeze and pull the shoulder blades together and down the back. One more time. Just kind of getting all of these back muscles engaged. And then we'll bring the right hand to the floor or to a block and take the left arm up for a revolve lunge. And take your left arm forward. This feels so nice. We're going to bring the left hand to the ground, lower the right knee, and send the left leg straight back behind you for a modified side plank. You can keep the left foot on the floor if you need. Gaze can be just right down to your right hand. And we're going to come into side plank. So bring the left hand to the floor, swivel to the outside edge of the left foot, stack your feet, and lift the right arm up. Squeeze the left shoulder blade onto the back of the ribs. We're going to bring your right forearm down to the ground. Swivel to the outer edge of the right foot. Left arm lifts. Forearm plank. Bring your left forearm to the floor. Classic forearm plank, tuck your tailbone. And then we'll walk the toes up. Coming into dolphin again. Remember, bend your knees and lift your hips high. We're going to straighten the arms as much as you can, seeing if you can lift both elbows off at the same time. We'll all need a down dog. Maybe you need to come onto your knees to do that. No worries. Inhale, lift your gaze. Step or jump forward. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, mountain pose. Bring the left knee in front of the chest, hands to prayer. Keep the tailbone lengthening down and use your right glute. We'll fly back warrior three. Inhale, rise up, left knee in front of the chest, hands to prayer. 
Exhale, fly back. One more time. Inhale, rise. Exhale, flow back. Warrior three to stay. And come into that high lunge, so bring the left toes to the floor. Lengthen the tailbone down as you lift the arms. We're going to do that same kind of pulling action. So inhale and exhale. Squeeze and pull the shoulder blades together and down the back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, squeeze and pull them together and back. Try not to let your ribs pop forward. We're going to keep them contained. Last one. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, pull them together and down the back. Bring the left hand to the floor. Right arm lifts. Revolve lunge. You can almost imagine you're doing a back bend really Lean back into this left arm. One more breath. Bring the right hand to the floor. Lower the left knee. And send your right leg straight back behind you. Modified side plank, right arm lifts. Keep this left shoulder blade stable, hugging against the ribs. We're going to come onto the right hand, swivel to the outer edge of the right foot, stack the feet, lift your left arm. Bring the left arm to the floor, swivel again, stack the feet, right arm lifts. Bring the right forearm to the floor, keep the elbows hugging in, and walk your toes up, dolphin. Come up to the knees and bring your left hand so that it's in line with your right elbow. We're going to come back into your dolphin pose here. So lift your hips a little different in the arms. Definitely uh, putting a little more demand into the right shoulder. Maybe you can take the right leg up and back. Lower the right foot. Come back onto the knees. Other side, left our forearm comes forward, right hand comes in line with the left elbow. Lift the hips up. Maybe we'll lift the left leg. Slowly lower. Come onto the knees. Take both forearms out. And we'll press your seat towards your heels as you rise up onto the fingertips. Slowly rise and come onto your backs. Hugging your knees into your chest. Rocking from side to side. Just loving your lower back for a moment. We'll take the left leg out long. Bring the right knee over to the left. Right arm extends out to the side. Final twist. Imagine that you're creating length and space on this right side of your body. And you'll rise up. And we'll switch legs. Hug the left in, left knee in. And twist over to the right. Left arm reaches out. One more big breath here. Roll back onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. And we'll grab onto the outer blades of the feet for a happy baby. And slowly rock from side to side. Keeping the knees nice and bent. Bring your knees into your chest one last time. And we'll come into Shavasana, the final rest. At this time, feel free to stay as long as you need. This is also a really good time for us to uh, search for depths and mindfulness practices. Just scanning the body. Maybe starting at the very top of the head and Bringing your awareness down to your eyes. 
into your ears, in your mouth. Feeling the air as it comes in through your nose. Letting yourself feel connected to the earth, to nature, to your own biorhythms. Feel free to pause the video and stay longer. But when you're ready, hug your knees into your chest. Rock yourself up to seated. And we'll join the hands together in prayer. Bowing into your efforts, bowing into this practice that helps us to really hold on to and embrace the present moment. Allowing us to become more simple humans. Thank you guys for coming to practice.